What is up guys? He's your host at Cosmic Stardust again. And here I've decided to make a video of that I'm gonna be going to the bank while I'm driving this car, the 1990 Toyota Camry. This car right here is supposed to be my my only transportation because we had this car for a few years now. And since I got my driver's license, let's go in here. Yeah, it's kind of sprinkling over here. Let's see. This here is not the original key because the original one is like messed up. Uh, it, it, you see? Well, it is it is old after all. Uh, right here. Yeah, right here. There's a master lock. And the doors were actually replaced because the right here the the side of doors are gray because my dad replaced them. Back seats. Right here, fuel line. There's no tachometer because it's automatic. Because this is an old car. Stereo right there, but I, I didn't bother bring the the controller for the stereo. Everything else. Well, right now this bat this camera's batteries are low so I'll come back I'll come back to you for now so let me go back inside the house so I could get the new batteries for the this camera okay I'm back with new set of batteries for this camera okay you see I removed the the lock it's right around here I that's where I usually put it aside it doesn't fall of course okay let's I'll show you, uh, I'll, and of course you see, here's the start, the key that I open the door and start. You see, okay, right here. And turning on. Yep. This is the sound of the car's engine right here. like I'll do this for fun let's check under the hood right. so there's that switch I feel this hard to do it with one hand Oh, there we go. This is the engine of the Camry, right here. See the belt is moving? Yep. This is a, yeah, a 2016 valve 2.1 liter engine for the Camry. Alright. Not the cars. I, I'm trying to let this car warm up a bit, as usual. Since every car, you need to warm it up a bit. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me try to put close the lid, the hood. Okay. It's a bit hard work to try to put, open up the lid and close it. All right get back in here and let's get back in here so that way we can be able to dry just making sure that there's no water in here a little wet the steering wheel and of course you see the seat belts are like this well technically the driver's seat belt doesn't work like like automatic whenever you close the door. I have to wear these glasses every time I drive. Okay, I'm gonna put them on. Okay. Gotta wait for 
bit for the car to warm up. Mm, a bit blurry of the, I guess, since of these wipers I've been using a while, because technically it hasn't been raining lately here in in Paris, California, in uh, our hometown. about time when we get going. Push the brake. Release the handbrake. Go in reverse. And uh, check to see coast is clear. Coast is clear. Let's go. Oh, wrong way. Banks this way. Technically, right here in the bottom of like under 20 is like it gets to be a bit tough to uh, find out if you're actually what miles, how many miles per hour you're actually going on that very very low speed. Okay, I'll pause the video, record right here. I'll be back to. All right, I'm back in my room, and I decided I didn't want to record my way on my way back to my home. Well, this is the thing. The reason why I decided, well, if you guys want to see my face, I'm not sure if it's pointing, but I guess it do. You see, 
I decided uh, to go to the bank so that way I could deposit some money. Unfortunately, some of the money, the my cash, didn't want it to go through. So instead, I had to then, I was only able to do $15. Yeah, 15 US dollars. That's plenty of money. Because you see, I had already found a replacement screen online. All I just got to do is buy it and then be able to wait for the shipping. So until then, today I'll be, be able to try to buy the, the screen. Until then, it's going to take about almost a, like like 25 is maximum days of how much time, how much how many days, which will be weeks to get the that screen to come here. Well, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed the little driving I did with this camera. I'll then try to see if I could put this camera like somewhere so that I can use two hands next time. Peace out.